Say you're getting AI to build your app, but they look like crap like this and like this. I'm going to show you how to use one tool to go from this to this like this with just a few prompts. My last video was about using Claude Dev to make an expense tracker app and we spent $2.50 doing that and somebody commented that it looks like a $2.50 app which is really funny and it's true it doesn't look that great in my opinion too. So today we're going to challenge ourselves and make the front end of this expense tracker app look much more professional and we'll see where this takes us. This is the agenda for today we're going to give a quick intro to V0 what it is why do people like it what it does how much it costs and then we're going to use V0 to build that expense tracker app and we're gonna deploy it on Vercel. So let's get started. What is V0? What do people use it for? If you've watched my previous few videos, you will know that I like to use Next.js a lot in my code and large companies actually use Next.js too, like Apple, Netflix, and Uber. It's a framework that makes building fast interactive apps easier. It's created by a company called Vercel and Vercel also made V0. V0 is basically an AI powered UI generator. You can think about it like Claude, where you can type a command and they push out code for you. It will also show a preview of the front end. V0 generates copy and paste friendly React code, so it makes building the front end much easier. V0 is free to use and they have a pretty generous free tier that you can sign up and toy around with. If you want to generate more code, you can subscribe to a paid tier of $20 a month. We're going to get started using V0 to beautify our, our expense tracking app. Just go to v0.dev and sign up for an account. I've already done so. I'm gonna start by creating a new chat. Before we put in anything into V0, we're gonna take a look at my last app. So I'm gonna go to the folder and then do npm run dev to show you what I made last time. This is my expense tracker app and it looks like this right now. I'm going to take a screenshot of it and we could use this to tell V0 to beautify it, but I tested this out and it's just going to make the UI slightly better using ShatCN's UI framework, but it's not going to be that different. So what we're going to do to make this look better and to get inspired is do some research. Search for expense tracker template to see what Google comes out with. I'm going to browse for some cute expense tracking app. I kind of like this layout, how clean this is. So I'm gonna screenshot this and just as an example to show you what V0 could do. I'm gonna go over here to V0. After creating a new chat, I'm just gonna ask V0 to create an expense tracker app for me. Make me an expense tracker app that's inspired by the attached photo and I just randomly screenshotted one of them. And so I input it in and it's doing some thinking. Now V0 is generating the code for me and you can see in the preview of what this is gonna look like. It didn't just take that, that photo because I didn't say make me a, an app that looks exactly like that. I said inspired by the attached photo. This is what it's came out with. There's this category income expenses, debt payments, savings. I'm making some tweak to this because instead of income, expenses, debt payments, and savings, I'm going to change it to say bills and subscriptions and also investment and savings. So that includes more under savings. I'm making some updates to the UI so then it lays out what I want it to lay out. Can you add a header that allows users to choose between months and also allow them to sign up? I'm working back and forth to make some tweaks with V0. I'm like, okay, you added the month to the header, but I think you should add the year too because our app will be obsolete next year. <laughs> so after about 15 prompts or so, I think the expense tracking page looks really good now. And I'm asking it to make me another page, a home page. My app is called the Tracker. It's doing some thinking and it made me this page. and. I think it looks pretty good, you know, for the first try. It definitely doesn't look 250. So I'm going to use this for my login page. Now that we have a pretty good dashboard page as well as a good home page, I'm going to open up cursor and open up Claude Dev. I'm going to tell Claude Dev to, to build this app for me. I just said I want to update the look and feel of this app. And here's the code that I generated from V0. Can you help me incorporate this? And I also included an image. Let's see what it comes up with. You can see right now 
to do all the context downloading. It costed me 40 cents, but it is a lot of code because they have to look through my whole code base since I included the whole folder. I'm just gonna do everything Claude Duff suggested. And let's see how much this time it's gonna cost us. Say something is broken. It looks like here it says it can't resolve recharts. We need to download something and I'm gonna go back to V0 and make sure I read through recharts. I have to do this, copy this and just install it into terminal. See here, there's instructions here. Now it's been installed. Now we can go here and see if we're getting the same Error. Hey there, thanks so much for watching all the way up till this point. I find it fascinating that somebody actually left a secret message last time, so I want to keep the tradition going. I like to think of it as our secret handshake. So if you can, I would appreciate it if you leave this secret message into the comment. That will make my day if you can do that. I will definitely respond to your comment. Thank you. It's saying it's not seeing date FNS. I'm going to go back to V0 and it's telling me on v0 that I needed to install this. Let's see if the logged in page changed. So now it actually did change and you can see a lot of other stuff but it's not quite ready yet. We spent a dollar and 14 cents so far and we got to here. It's telling you create a SQL script to update the schema. We're going to take all this blurb over here that was generated from Claude Def and we're going to go to Superbase. Go to SQL editor paste it in and hit run success so this part is done yesterday i had to go so i actually wasn't able to finish the whole project so i'm picking it up again today and this is why i'm in a different outfit also yesterday i actually ended up spending a lot of money on this because i didn't commit my changes and with one of the queries i ran they messed up my file so i had to restart and you can see here i spent eight dollars something yesterday because i went back and forth so it's really important to commit your fixes with that said let's go and see what progress i made since yesterday this is what it looks like right now i would say it definitely looks way better than before this could be improved this should be like next to in the corner or something in, instead of right here and this date needs to be fixed because it's showing up in a weird way and when I edit this, it also has a weird calendar. So let's proceed to fixing the calendar right now. Before I, I do anything, I'm going to commit my changes by doing git add and push it out. Over here in the branches, I should have nothing. I can make change it and not have to waste money <laughs> because I, I, I had to redo the queries if it doesn't look good. Okay, I'm going to tell them to use the date picker in chat cn and we'll see what it comes up with i want to show you this issue that i'm running into so when i try to fix the calendar app it after the fixes it like removed a bunch of code and you can see so here the changes this is what claude def did and which i'm not happy with what you could do is to di discard all changes because it didn't generate what i want so i'm going to go back again i'm going to just start a new task I'm going to tell them, do not delete any existing function. Put some exclamation marks at the end. Hopefully, it'll get my hint. Let's see whether this works out better this time. It looks like there's an improvement. They didn't delete blocks of code like last time. With your command, it's very important to include do not delete excess code except for this fix. They, they said it's fixed, but I don't think it's fixed because I've tried a few times to debug this and it doesn't seem to work. I'm actually going to try using cursor to debug. So open out, open up command shift I and here I'm just um, creating a notepad in cursor and I'm typing in some notes about this expense tracker app. Uh, and then I'm going to go into the composer and adding the files. I'm going to type in the same questions that I had earlier. Why is the calendar not default to, to collapse mode? And it's supposed to t fix it. So let's see what it looks like now. The reason why I like doing it in cursor is because sometimes when Claude Def doesn't work, you can use cursor composer to also help you with some fixes. Now it looks better because we fixed this issue 
we need to commit the changes so I don't have to keep going back and forth. Get at dot fix calendar. Get push. Okay. Now all the changes are committed. Let's move on to the next issue that needs to be worked on or fixed. Because I spent so much in Claude Def already, I'm using Composer now. In general, I think when you start a project, I feel like maybe Claude Death was easier to get the project running, but sometimes I do think that maybe you could use Cursor to debug a little bit here and there. It seems like Cursor Composer is great at debugging, and, and if Claude Death is gonna cost you like $8, $9, you might as well just try using Cursor, right? A couple more UI updates using Cursor. I have finally got it to a place that I'm decently happy with. Currently, this is what my dashboard looks like. You can select and add anything. I think it does look decent. I mean, I can add a lot more features to it, but it's much prettier looking than before. What we're going to do is go work on the homepage. In V0, we have already created a version that we liked. This time, we're going to use Cursor Composer to help us with this instead of using Claude. I'm going to just tell Cursor Composer to help me make this home screen with the code that I pasted. I'm also going to change, tell it to not delete any functionalities. It looks like we have to import something. This is where I think sometimes Claude Def shines because I think Claude Def gives me more instructions. But let's see what cursor told me. I just need to install the dependencies. Okay, now it looks good. I'm just going to double check. Now the app is fully functional and I'm sure you can add more, but I just wanted to show a quick way to beautify this using V0. You can set your budget, you can set your income, and you can see how much you have left to spend based on what you already spent. We use Cursor Composer as well as Claude Dev to do this. It's just helpful to have an extra assistant when one doesn't work to try out a different one. The hard part is around deployment and I'm going to deploy this to Vercel and first you have to push to GitHub. Once you push to GitHub, you're going to go see the deployment. I have a lot of fail to compile. You can see I'm making changes for two hours, so it's not like I didn't spend time on it. It just takes time to build an app, but I would argue that for a non-engineer to do that, it's impressive. There are some building logs in here. So what we're going to do is copy this and I'm asking Cursor Composer to help because I come across more errors. I'm just pasting it into the Composer in Cursor to ask them to fix it for me. I'm going to test and make sure it works as expected. The deployment takes a lot of time to debug because what might work in your environment might not work in your build. I have to go and fix all these issues one by one. Deployment, it's one of the longest process for me. Looks like it's deploying. Okay, so finally, after this is my eighth attempt at deploying, I probably spent an hour on just the deployment, but I got it working and now my data is live in a live website. It should be under this domain. It's working. I know I spent like maybe around a day on this, but I could technically get it to look much better. If looks and feel are something that's really important to you, definitely check out VZero. And that's it for today. Thank you.